What's going on my fellow troops? My name is Avo and welcome back to a brand new video. So today um, I'm going to be talking about, you know, kind of just how the haunting is coming to an end and whatnot and what I would like them, what I'd like to see Call of Duty do in future with zombies or just for the rest of Cold War zombies to be honest. But real quick, I just want to say hopefully you all had an amazing Halloween. Um, I obviously didn't have uh, such a great time uh, for the few days before Halloween, I was obviously pumping out FNAF videos, uh, FNAF 3 to be more specific, and it was fun, but the more I was playing, it was just getting really stressful and draining, and you'll probably know if you've watched my fourth video, the final one I did on it, I explained in a pinned comment why I didn't do a night five and whatnot. Anyway, that's got nothing to do with today's video, but hopefully you all had a good Halloween. Um, on actual Halloween, it was really fun. I uh, had dinner out, really nice. And, um, yeah, so, it's, yeah, it was, it was interesting. I don't normally do that at Halloween. Normally, I, uh, I would have watched spooky movies. Actually, to be fair, I actually did, um, like, when it got to around 9 or 10 or something like that, maybe 11, I was watching, uh, Friday the 13th reboot with my brothers, so that was pretty cool. Um, uh, the reboot, to be specific, like, the 2009 one, I think. Anyway, um, so, yeah, hopefully you had a great day, and, um, yeah, so, seeing as it's actually nearly midnight it's the first of november recording this uh tomorrow or when you're seeing this or whenever you say it see this um it will be the second of november and sadly uh the haunting in cold war and warzone will be coming to an end unfortunately now i think this really should be the time that i start to talk about what i liked in this and um kind of just what i really wish they would keep for this um for the rest of just zombies in general because honestly i think you probably know what i'm gonna say here um for the haunting obviously i did enjoy you know the, the little scary bundles even though i didn't buy them it was interesting to see you know which horror characters would be implemented this year because obviously last year with modern warfare they had um i think it was yeah it was billy the puppet for some reason was turned into like a life-size guy um and then there were for the saw pack and then there was Loverface for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre set. Uh, and then this year they did Ghostface and Donnie Darko. Obviously the last year and this year, they had some like kind of random Halloween bundles. They were pretty cool as well this year. Um, but yeah, like I think, obviously I liked the last ones as well last year. They were actually not that bad. But anyway, like I liked that. I liked what Cold War did with the screen death match. That was surprisingly pretty fun. I only played a select number of games in it, but it was really fun whilst I played it. And um, obviously the main thing I really liked was probably the Ghost of Adansk and then over in Cold War Zombies was just like the overall Halloween updates. I didn't really play the Outbreak because I'm not an Outbreak player, um, but I'm sure you guys enjoyed that yourselves. The thing I think was so good this year for Halloween was not just because it was Halloween. I mean, obviously it was, uh, you know, scenic to have, you know, pumpkin heads on the zombies and any, really just any of the um, enemy zombies in that case. Um, and just, you know, I guess having the little music changes between rounds, that was quite refreshing to have them, you know, Halloween themed. But the main thing that I think with or without Halloween update that was just such a cool innovation that they brought to card because i don't think they've ever done this was having obviously the randomized reward system where you know mobs or i'm saying mobs like as if it's minecraft but uh they drop the zombies would drop uh, obviously these pumpkins these jack-o-lanterns and they'd give you randomized rewards i think that was the coolest thing they did this year if they just kept that if they just keep that in general for the rest of Cold War, because I do know it's supposed to receive a second year of Zombies content, apparently, whilst Vanguard's going on. Um, I think whilst that's going on, they should obviously keep it in Cold War, but also implement it into Vanguard and then every other card game that has Zombies going forward, because I think this is the coolest thing they've done. Honestly, with or without the Rampage Inducer as well, it's kind of just frustrating having to spend time setting up a whole game just to get Pack-A-Punch tiers and all this sort of stuff. It's honestly really annoying. And I think just having these chalices that gave you random Pack-A-Punch uh, tiers and then having um, the ether tools, which gave, you know, you know, rarities for your weapon and, you know, having randomized wonder weapons and just having all these cool things was just really, really interesting. And I think it's really helped me with my camera grinding. I don't know about you guys, but 
Honestly, it's been so much fun. Not only is Forsaken really good for camo grinding anyway, you know, for leveling your weapon up in particular, like you can sit in this place where I am through this gameplay on this little truck um, and just shoot zombies as they keep spawning. Obviously, don't go for the portal, but uh, you're probably going to have to end up doing that after the Halloween update gets removed, you know, having to go back to normal, go into the, the turn the power on and whatnot, which kind of sucks. Um, not going to lie, because turning the power on and having to do all the pack a punch stuff actually cancels um, the never-ending zombie lapses that you have in the first part of the base when you don't go for the portal. That's what allows this sort of repetitive zombie spawning thing to keep going on and uh, rounds just keep going really fast. But you don't get that once you've gone through the portal. So that kind of sucks. So I think having this Halloween update saved us from having to cancel that ability obviously we would have had to go through the portal if we wanted to get perks that's just a sad downside to it but at the end of the day we didn't have to cancel the accelerated zombie spawning and round uh, round acceleration because we were getting the pack of punches and tears for free from rewards and just having to you know obviously turn the power on do our stuff will stop us from doing that and i think that's one of the crucial points that allows you to get rapid level leveling up. Like that's what I've been doing, sitting in the same place and having zombies endlessly keep coming towards you. I can't tell you how fast my weapons have been leveling up. I've been getting them from like level zero, for example, because I've been really going back and doing, you know, loads of DLCs, uh, DLC weapons. Getting it from level zero to nearly 20 or 15 in a game is actually doable depending on how long you stay in the game obviously you could get about five levels in a game but still that is a lot of progress compared to just casually playing uh, like you do on any other round base map that doesn't have this feature um, so it's it's really interesting that obviously forsaken having this rapid zombies and round spawning and then also on top of that having this new innovation for halloween it was the best combination possible and having that removed is gonna really suck it's gonna suck so bad and i was really really looking forward to utilizing it for most of my weapons most of the weapons anyway apart from i think the sniper and probably the ballistic knife because with the ballistic knife or the melees you can't really sit still in one spot because you'll get overcrowded and same with the zrg 20 millimeter that sniper um i haven't done that one and that's going to be absolute just hell to use but that weapon as well you've got to kind of be moving around doing that but other than that all my other weapons i was looking forward to using them in the spot and i've only managed to do a bunch of ars i've not even got onto the new lapper smg or the tactical rifle you know the the uh yeah the new the tactical rifle that's been in the game for quite a while now and then the shotgun i've not even got around to using them which kind of sucks which is really why i wish they kept this in the game for longer it really helps for camo grinders um with even if it does stop people from playing the game normally you know some people can choose to play normally if they want to and others can just do this if they want to play for the camo grind if people have completed the camo grind and still play zombies for fun then they can do it the normal way you know it gives them challenges to do at least to turn power on and do all this sort of stuff to keep them occupied but at the end of the day i just wish they kept this this was like the best thing they could have done and if vanguard doesn't have this i'm going to be disappointed because vanguard is actually dropping from when I'm recording this in four days. So when this comes out, it'll be three days. And I'm just going to put it out there. I'm not buying Vanguard straight off the bat. I've heard good things. I've heard they're trying to like uh, make the game as best as possible. They've been fixing tons of bugs that loads of the community has been complaining about, which is just amazing to hear. That's like a sip of fresh air after Cold War where every single problem everyone ever had was just getting thrown up into one COG game. And they were fixing or well quote unquote fixing things or changing things that didn't need fixing you know what i mean like they were fine before they were just implementing really dumb updates and features now if i'm glad that vanguard is doing differently the listening and the fixing all these bugs and uh trying to implement stuff that people like but at the same time zombies is set to drop in vanguard with no round base maps at all until season one which is in december so there is going to be no round based zombie maps in in zombies for vanguard until christmas or around december anyway when the first season drops meaning there'll only be like an outbreak likes inspired i guess you could say map which i'm not going to look forward to doing at all and if you've seen the leaked vanguard camo 
it looks pretty damn cool. It looks kind of like Dark Aether that's kind of red, but also mixed with Black Ops 4's, um, like, stage one of Dark Matter, if you know what I mean. Kind of just, like, red and black. It looks really cool. It's like a mix of those two, I would say. It just looks really cool. And I, I, I would be obviously upset if I was one of those people buying Vanguard at the start of its release, when, you know, when it drops, and having to play in an Outbreak-type zombies match for, like a whole goddamn month or a month and a half until I can actually get the good stuff. That just seems kind of dumb. But on the contrary, multiplayer is set to have a lot of maps and lots of bugs have been fixed. So, hell, it could turn out to be a really good game. Apparently, loads of the stuff they tested in the beta that nobody liked, they've actually just, they were just testing them. They weren't things that they tested and they actually ended up in the game like Cold War, where the beta... Um, had all these things in it and then we all thought like oh I, it's actually all right but they need more and then when the actual release came out it was pretty much exactly identical to the beta if i, I know for, for a fact that from what we've heard from um from sledgehammer uh this game this year is set to have a lot more things that it had from the beta and things removed or switched up which is really interesting but still that doesn't persuade me to buy it if you know me i've said it a few times on my channel i'm probably more persuaded to buy it around christmas time at least then i've given it a month or so for it to actually kind of get going get on its feet and see what people think about the game before I make the initial choice to purchase the game. I don't think there's ever been a card since I started playing card in World War II. Uh, there's not been a card that I haven't bought, but they sometimes I've always had those secondhand just reconsiderations of whether I've wasted my money or not. But in the end, it turns out all right. Um, and I can see that's probably going to be the case with Vanguard. You know, they're going to have... Um, a COD game that comes out pretty unfinished or not very great. In this case, it probably will be a lot better than Cold War, I would imagine. But it's going to take probably half of the game's life cycle before it gains enough content to be considered above average, I would say. So if that's what I'm going to run with, I might as well stick by that until I see or I'm convinced otherwise that it's going to be good. Um, but anyway... Just generally coming back to this whole thing about zombies and the haunting, it's been really fun. I've really enjoyed playing this. It's been fun for the camera grinds. It's been fun to play in zombies. I haven't spent all my time, obviously, in, in card. I've been playing a lot of it in Five Nights at Freddy's 3 for the past few days or more. Um, but regardless of that, I have had fun in it and I've had just kind of just really made the most of it i think i could have made more more of the time i guess but i still really did enjoy it and it was definitely worth the experience and it's helped me with camera grinding so that sounds like a win in my books to be honest because that's the main reason i'm in cold war at this point to do finish zombies camera grind at this point because i really should be in black ops 4 right now i have been doing a ton of assault rifles actually well smg sorry um over the past week in Black Ops 4, but I keep constantly having to come back to carry on with Season 6 Battle Pass and progress with the Dark Aether. I've got to keep a balance between the two, so that kind of sucks. So, I can only imagine what it's like for all the people who've just finished every camo grind and they're just waiting on Vanguard's release. Like, that must feel so good for you, but I've still got two camo grinds I'm trying to finish here. Uh, one of them prepped pretty much not being even fully started, to be honest. I've only done, like, one and three quarters of two types of weapon classes and then with dark ether which is in cold war i've done like most of it but i've got a select number of weapons left to do so it, i'm gonna be busy to say the least but i don't know i just hope zombies going forward would just keep this idea this this kind of game breaking system because it's really really good i think it's made zombies much more fun this year and it, i think it's actually i think it's actually appealed to so many more people a lot more people have been interested in playing zombies this year um well in this time of year i should say compared to earlier this year you know people have been wanting to play it because of the new halloween updates so i don't know but anyway that's enough rambling so if you guys did enjoy be sure to smash like on this video comment subscribe and turn on the notice to never miss a single video that comes out on this channel um yeah do be sure to sub because I want to see if we can get to 1.05k. That sounds really weird to say. But yeah, uh, we, we're at 104k right now. So if we can hit 1050, that'll be sick. Um, 
the support's amazing, guys. Thank you so much. Just to everyone that watches my videos. Um, but yes, yeah, so other than that, sorry if I rammed a bit too long. But I'm going to miss this haunting event. I don't know about you, um, but it, it, it was fun whilst it lasted. And funnily, this gameplay was the first time I managed to get this wonder weapon. I don't know what it's called, the like the axe-looking wonder weapon. This is the first time I've got it, and this is like a day before it ends, which is kind of sad, but it was fun to use, and I got the ray gun, which I've had a few times, I think. Got it to max pack-a-punch for both of them, obviously, from the chalices, and just using them were really fun. So, uh, yeah, but other than that, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.